So we've been making a lot of videos about content ideas and how to grow your channel, but we're missing something very important. Do you have any means to know that your channel is family friendly? Well guys, today we'll be talking about that, but before we do, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. We want your videos to be safe from YouTube's ire, and also we want you to monetize your videos so that you can make something out of your hobby and make it a full-time job if that's what you want. But have you ever asked yourself if your channel is YouTube friendly or family friendly? Don't worry guys, we'll be helping you out with that, so without further ado, Freedom Quick Tips. In the past, we have made a lot of videos about YouTube's guidelines under the KYC series or videos, but as a recap and to jog your memory, let's go down a few things. Number one YouTube guideline is nudity and sexual content. These are videos that call upon the cardinal pleasures of everyone. These videos would want to steer your sexuality in play. With that being said, YouTube does not allow these kinds of content. Number two, child endangerment. This rule is highly enforced by YouTube. Content creators who take advantage of their children is not allowed by YouTube. Any content creator that deals with harmful acts, nude acts, or anything that will put the child's dignity and safety in jeopardy are not allowed. Number three, spam or misleading content. Well, this is self-explanatory. Any content that is misleading may be your thumbnail, title, video, video descriptions, or tags are not allowed. For if you will not do this, YouTube may flag this as repetitive content. Family-friendly content are content that the family can use without any malicious or content that will put them in harm's way. Let's talk about a few guidelines. Number one guideline is deceptive content. Family content is for the collective family. But if you make content that is for adult audiences, that is very deceptive. If you are making a family-friendly video, you have to ask yourself, who is the audience of my video? Number two guideline, clickbait or spam. Just like the spam guideline of the YouTube community guidelines, it is the same with this guideline. You will need to make a video that is relevant to your content. In regards to this video, you have to ask yourself, does my title and thumbnail accurately portray the video content? Number three guideline content is passive. When you make a video that is passive or a video that there is no voice or narrative or anything that you can learn from is not allowed. In regards with this guideline, you have to ask yourself, what will families learn or get out of my videos? Number 4 content guideline is mass produced or created from a content farm. Mass produced content is content that is massively produced and uploaded rapidly. It features the same content and it has very minimal narrative, voiceover, or any learning curve. So guys, we're now all caught up on YouTube's guidelines and of course family friendly content. Let's talk about the popular types of family friendly content that you guys can do. We will split these types into okay content and inappropriate content. Number one is daily life and vlogging. Okay content! Vlogging is fine and dandy. You can put your kids or your family inside your videos. But if you are vlogging, please do not put your kids or anyone in your family into harm's way because that's a big no-no on YouTube and YouTube will flag that video. A not appropriate content. Putting people in harmful situations or showing them in emotional or physical distress. Humiliating, fighting, and negative sentiments. Number two is costumes and characters. Okay content. Families in costumes with positive storyline. Imaginative play. A not appropriate content. Misappropriation of children's characters or other supposedly family-friendly characters in appropriate ways such as mature themes or Violence. Number three is food. Okay content. Healthy eating and family cooking, baking together, DIY videos, and all of that kind of content. Not appropriate content. Excessive consumption of junk food, binging, or overeating. Number four, trends and challenges. Okay content. Monitor popular trends both and off of YouTube. Plug into popular discussions in your own style and format. Appropriate and safe versions of popular trends or themes. A not appropriate content. Mature or adult trending topics portrayed as family content, pranks, dares, and challenges that have danger associated with imitation. Number five, video series. Okay content. Recurring formats that are original and unique. A not appropriate content. Duplicative, mass-produced content lacking originality or differentiation. And that's the episode guys. What was the most relevant topic to you? Let me know down below. Also share this to a friend who still doesn't know if their content is family friendly or not. You might need to help them out and this video will help them out. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom quick tips. See you on the next episode. Goodbye.